día es ahora? Lunes 16 de septiembre. 16 de septiembre. ¿Y qué se celebra este día? La independencia de México. ¿La ¿Independencia de qué país? ¡Que viva México! ¡Que viva! Y a, a, a una chamaca del Salvador. ¿Dónde está esa chamaquita del Salvador? Noemí. ¿Dónde está Noemí? Noemí. Ven para acá. Ven para acá, chica. A, a me regañó porque me dijo cuando se celebra la, la, la independencia del Salvador. Ayer. Ok, diles. ¡Que viva el Salvador! ¡Que viva! ¡Que viva! Y también me dijeron los nicaragüenses que eh, se celebra la independencia de Nicaragua. ¡Nico es aquí! A ver, ven para acá, ven para acá, pues, Nicolita. Tráeme una catamar y un café. Un piorón con yuca. Ven para acá, mamá. Ana. La Nicola, mirá, ahí está otro Nicola. ¿Cuándo se celebra la independencia de Nicaragua? Aquí en este barrio yo nací aquí en este barrio. I was born and raised in this barrio. And I was blessed to have mi papá que está descansando en paz, que me enseñó desde chiquito que hay que luchar. My father taught me since I was a little boy to be an organizer. He told me the importance to give of your time to better the lives of those because we are blessed. I was blessed to have a home, running water, comida, ropa, ¿verdad? Entonces, nos enseñó ese chiquito, y yo ha dedicado toda mi vida por eso, y por eso hago por lo que yo hago. And that's why I do what I do, because my Edito taught me, since I was a little boy, that we were blessed with water, a home, love, And right now, what's going on with these children? Ahorita lo que está pasando con esos niños es un crimen. It is criminal what they are doing to our children, encaging them. Donald Trump is not my president. Because that is not what a president is supposed to be about. A president is supposed to love and serve the people and he is not loving and serving our people so to me he was a business crook and now he's a government crook and he needs to be impeached not later but now so every one of you needs to call your congressional representatives and your senators and demand that he get impeached because he's already committed many crimes. We do not deserve to have our people in concentration camps. You understand what I'm saying? These are concentration camps. They did it to the Jews. They did it to the Japanese in this country. And they said, never again. Have you heard that saying before? Yes. If you have not read your history books, it's in the history books. It says, never again. Let me hear you say that. Never again. But now that it's happening, that's why we are doing what we're doing today. Last month. Last month, el mes pasado, cada día, every day, there was a protest in front of ICE for lunch. And people went out there for the whole month, every single day. And so today, we decided to do this march on Mexican Independence Day because we really got to fight for our independence for all those Mexican children, and Hondureños, and Salvadoreños, and Nicaragüenses, all those children who are in prison, we need to stand up for them.
because we are blessed. We are free. We are free right now standing here. But their children are separated from their mamas and their papas. Mira, tu, tus hijos, tu tienes tus hijos ahorita contigo. Can you imagine your child being taken away from you? And you don't even know where they're at? Ese es un pecado. That is a sin. Oh, that is so wrong yeah. what they are doing. Yeah. But you know, people ask me, Roberto, but if we go out in March, how is that going to help? Well, it does. Because when we organize, and we organize, and we organize, and we stand up, and we shout, and we scream, and we march, you know what? People listen. People get educated. They understand better what the problem is and what we can do. So I ask you today, mark your calendars. Our next action is going to be on Saturday, November the 2nd. I know all of you know about Dia Los Huertos, right? Right? I actually worked on the film Coco. How many of you see the film Coco? You know the film Coco? All right, I worked on that film. We worked on that film for seven years because we wanted to educate people about our culture. And that film is very rich. And man, it made us so many people understand who we are as Latinos in this country because there was a misconception about who we were. In fact, I had white people used to tell me, oh, Dia Los Muertos, that's kind of scary, Roberto, you know? And now that they have seen the film, they get it, they understand it, you know? So this year, I, I was going to do, honestly, something with Dia Los Muertos with Coco, but I said, no, I'm not. I told Disney, I told Pixar, no, I'm not. I am going to ask you to join us. And for Dia de los Muertos, which falls on a Saturday this year, come and join us. And we're going to do a traditional Latino funeral procession. And we're going to remember all the children that have died and all the people that have died crossing the border. Be people that have been murdered by this government in these camps. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. People have died in these camps. And maybe not from a gun. Because that's not the only way you kill somebody is with a gun. But if you don't take care of their medical needs and they die, that is negligence. That is murder. So we're going to have for Dia de los Muertos a funeral procession starting at Dolores Park Saturday, November 2nd at 10 o'clock in the morning. And why are we doing it at Dolores Park? How many of you know that the Ohlone Indians are the native of this land? They were buried at Dolores Park and they came and made a part over the cemetery. So we are going to honor that day, the Ohlone's, because it's criminal that they made a park. I say Dolores Park. You know what the word Dolores means? Pain. 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 There's a, pain, a park called Pain for the Ohlone's. And so we're going to remember the Ohlone's and honor them because the same way that they've been invaded on, they are... Yeah, you want to pass them on me? Yes. He's going to help pass out flyers. So please take the flyers for the Dia de los Muertos. Juan and Tito, thank you for volunteering. Let's give it up to Juan and Tito. So we're going to make coffins because that's what you do. You carry a muerto with you in Latin America. You carry the muerto and you're uh, up in the air. You carry the muerto and you go down the barrio where the, the muerto lives and then you bury them. So we're going to make coffins and we're going to put photos 
on the coffins of the children that have died. And we're going to have a procession through the barrio and we're going to end up at Garfield Park where they have the annual uh, Dia de los Muertos Altares. So please mark your calendar, inviten a sus amigos, a sus vecinos, a su familia, que vengan a estar con nosotros para el segundo de noviembre para Dia de los Muertos. ¡Que viva la raza! ¡Sí se puede! Gracias, doctor Roberto. La siguiente persona que va a presentar, una de las mamás que aquí siempre nos ha ayudado en la escuela a organizar y es importante que las mamás también hablen y presenten la necesidad de marchar. We're going to have one of our mothers here at PBHM who's always here helping organize, bringing their kids and very vocal in support of the community. So please welcome Lourdes. Dale la bienvenida a Lourdes. <laughs> 